So now uh, we can define project management. You see that we have defined project. We know the na nature characteristics of a project. We know importance of project. We know uh, classification of project. So uh, we have some ideas about project, but we are using the word project management again and again. Uh, we use these words several times. So what is project management? The project management, the, the, the word project management emerged at the beginning of 1960s with NASA space program, NASA. Uh, you know that NASA stands for National Aeronautic Space Administration uh, that is uh, you know, available, that, that is situated in the United States of America. And uh, later, uh, this project management concept uh, was used uh, in uh, major civil engineering works, then gradually it's uh, as spread over other sectors. And now we are using uh, the word project management uh, for all the sectors everywhere, is education, agriculture, uh, social care, uh, whatever the sector you will find everywhere we have project management. Now, uh, uh, we, we should be very specific. Then what is project management? Different authors that have defined project management in different ways. We have the concept of management also separately. Uh, so we can say project management is what a project management does. Uh, it is a simple definition, simple, but it's, it's not exactly the right way you can define a project uh, management. Now you need to explain then what project manager does. Then you know that project manager involves with planning, all the management functions like planning, organizing, stopping, leading, motivating, coordinating, communicating, and control. So in a project, all the management functions uh, you need to adapt. And that's why this is project management. So it is a set of activities, and then you need planning, organizing, and all the managerial tasks. So these way, if you blend your project with management, that is a project management. But there are many other definitions. Project management means managing all the activities of a project from conception to completion. So it's from the beginning to end. And why it is? Because it provides a manager with powerful managerial tool and techniques in planning, directing, and controlling a project in order to meet various resource constraints. We know that our resources are limited. Our financial resources are limited. Physical resources like land building and others are limited. Our human resources are limited. So we need to use all these limited resources to maximize our profit and minimize cost. And project management does so. Project management helps. Uh, we can conclude uh, using one more definition. Project management is a well-established integrated course with a number of developed techniques to ensure successful implementation of a project through efficient control of different inputs required, which include human resources, financial resources, and material resources. So material resources are also known as physical resources. Uh, now, starting all this definition, you can develop your own understanding and you can have your own definition of project management. And that is better uh, for better understanding. Uh, what are the skills set in project management or functions uh, of project management? Or you can say skills set. Uh, that is, uh, if you really want to manage a project, then what kind of skills you must have? So through these course, through these programs, through this semester, you'll be able to add all these skills with you. So uh, that's why these are important uh, uh, skill sets. Uh, one is you'll be able to define project scope. So uh, what are the project management skills uh, you need? That you need to 
properly define, you need to properly identify project scope. So these course will help you to do this. Uh, you'll be able to identify stakeholders. You know that a project is associated with many stakeholders, project owners, project employees, government, customers, clients, suppliers, buyers, developers, maintainers, banks, insurance companies, these way many uh, uh, stakeholders are involved with the project. If you can identify stakeholders very properly, uh, if you can identify how influential your stakeholders are, how they will be benefited from these kind of projects properly, uh, uh, you will be really a very good project manager. So one, another skill sets you need to acquire uh, how to identify stakeholders. Stakeholders means who are directly and indirectly beneficiary of the project. Directly or indirectly beneficiary of the projects. So you have to identify stakeholders, you have to identify decision makers and also escalation procedures. So project management knowledge will help you these, uh, in, in, in this line as well. The third one, develop, you'll be able to develop details of task list. Uh, I used the example of renovating this room in my last class where uh, I also use the terminology work breakdown structure. What I mentioned, just remember, a good project manager knows how to go for work breakdown structure. One task, they divide it into 10, 15, and 20. So these way they follow work breakdown structure. If your work breakdown structure is brilliant, you'd be a very good project manager. And you'll be able to estimate time requirements because we will have some tools and techniques that will scientifically help you to set the exactly right time frame within Word. You can finish a project maintaining all the qualities. And also, uh, project management will help you to develop initial project management, uh, develop initial project management flowchart. So these will give you enough knowledge to find out the phases of a project, where you have to start, where you have to finish, and in between start and end, what should be the steps? What will be the first, second, third, fourth, fifth steps? So that will help you to draw the flowchart. If anyone can see the flowchart, they can easily understand what kind of project it is, what are the activities you are going to take. Uh, so that will guide you every day in your life. It will help you to identify required resources and budget. You know that all the time we're talking about project, we are talking about characteristics of a project. There are some characteristics among these two important characteristics are budget and uh, our resources. Third one is time. So project management will help you to identify required resources that what human resources you need, what financial resources you need, what material or physical resources you need. Also, it will help you to identify the target budget, the exact budget that you need to start a project, you need to finish a project. Project management will also help you to evaluate project requirements. Project requirements after uh, evaluating all collected data in information from the customers, from the clients, from the markets. A, uh, project management will also help you to identify and evaluate risk. What we have mentioned, yes, it will help you to identify and evaluate risk. There are various types of risk. A good project manager identifies all the risk before taking a project. So these risks may arise or may not arise. If you are very good in risk management, you can identify all the probable risk earlier and you can suggest all the probable measures of minimizing risk. If any risk arise, then you can take action immediately. 
then it will help you project management will help you to prepare contingency plans contingency plans that project management uh, uh, is not uh, always related to future you take all the decision now and whenever any contingency any accident any incident occur you can take actions because you have a plan earlier it will help you to identify interdependencies which tasks come first, which tasks second, which department is related to another department, what degree of dependency they have, all these you can identify earlier. So you know that you cannot start task number 10 if you can finish task number six or seven. So this way, project management will help you to properly identify interdependencies of one task on another one department on another project management will also help you to identify and track critical milestones you know that we are nowadays talking about critical analysis critical thinking because the environment is complex organizations are becoming complex projects are becoming complex uh, in this world so uh, in, in a project for successful completion, uh, you have some milestone or predetermined standard. So project management will help you to identify what are the real standard you need to set for your project, what is known as milestone and track critical milestones means whether you are behind the milestone or you are ahead the milestones, you are going to touch the milestone you're going to achieve the milestone or you are far behind the milestone if you are far behind the milestone then you can change your strategies to make your progress faster to reach to the milestones project management will help you to participate in project phase review uh, we will start project life cycle. So when we'll start project life cycle, you will find that there are some phases of uh, project. So project management will help you to participate in project phase review. Each phase, each, each interval, uh, uh, you need to evaluate your progress. You need to evaluate your success. So first phase, if you evaluate, and if you find that first phase is all right, then go for the second phase. If you find that first phase is not all right, then first rectify first phase, then go for the second phase. If you keep the trouble, if you keep the problem remain and then start the second phase, you will find difficulties in the second phase. And these, if you continue third and fourth phase, your project will never ensure qualities. Project management will help you to assemble needed resources assemble needed resources. You need resources from different sources. You need different types of resources. So project management knowledge, project management skill set, project management capabilities and abilities will help you to assemble all these required resources. You'll be able to identify exactly the requirement of knowledge, skills, and abilities. Then you can pick, you can hire the right person having all these required knowledge, skills, and abilities. You'll be able to rightly identify what sort of land, building, machinery, furniture, uh, technologies you need to run a project. So these way, project management will help you to assemble exactly needed resources. You'll be able to manage the change control process. I have mentioned earlier, the world is changing continuously. The environment is changing continuously. So project management knowledge will help you to manage these change control process by adapting change management. Project management also talk about change management, how a project manager can handle the change, can adapt with the change. And obviously, a project manager needs to report all the time the progress of a project. So project management skills will help you to report project status. 
we are talking about life cycle. So we will cover uh, two different life cycle. The first one is the textual life cycle uh, that we are following. The second one is uh, elaborative life cycle. Now it is uh, the most popular project life cycle is this, where you have five stages. One is called slow beginning. The second one is known as build up of size. Third one is known as peak. Fourth one is known as begin a decline and then termination. 